Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a log pool, I guess, of your iPhone. Uh, for those of you who want to view your iPhone text log, it doesn't do picture messages, it just does text messaging. And this is pulling it from the backup file. So you have to physically have the phone and pull the, da the backup file from uh, iTunes backup folder. So the website that I have up is iPhone-SMS.com and in no way am I an affiliate or supporting this. This is just the website that I found useful and easy to get the information that I want to get quickly. And so I pull up that website which is right here and then this website kind of goes through how to do it. I'm going to just show the visual version of it. You might run into a little issues here and there so pause the video as you feel but this is how you do it so you load up iTunes and you go ahead and do a backup so uh, initially when you load up iTunes it'll have um, let's see it'll have an icon like so up in the section right about there actually right about there and you click on it and then once you click on it it'll bring up your phone and then this will be the log of your phone I didn't want to go all the way up to the top because it has my personal information and so I'm trying to keep that out of this video so everybody can benefit so once you get here you click on this computer and this computer then click on backup now and like showing the time and right now just about 10 minutes ago I backed it up but you go ahead and back it up now if you'd like to once you back it up it'll take about three minutes now you're gonna to want to go into your file system of your computer so how you get to where you need to go is you bring up your finder for Mac and then you bring up your folder explorer on Windows and back to the website it shows you how to get to the data file of the iTunes backup for your Mac users it says user but really that's your handle so like my computer name is impossible and so it'd be impossible slash library slash app support slash mobile sync but you can also do uh, this little squiggly thing right here and I'll post this into the description so you can copy this if you'd like but you just do that little squiggly thing and then copy this whole section and you say go it'll take you right to the backup file and now you open that up and these will be all of the backups so this is your pictures in little files basically and you are specifically looking for and that's why this was a little down uh, you're specifically looking for this file 3d od7 that's really all you gotta memorize and go back into your finder and I put this into list format because it's easier to do and then it's sorted by name and you just go down until you get to the three so you got zero one two three d o seven so you're looking for three d three d o d seven where are you at three b d o d seven here it is so there's the file right there and you can compare it all the way down to the end. You got 47A 3D828. Uh, 3D828. 47A 3D28. Okay, so it's the file. And so you copy this file right here. And for, for Windows, it's Control C if you'd like to. And then I just go to the desktop. And as you can see, I already pasted it there, but I'll paste it again. Paste the item it's the same thing I can replace it and then you go back to the website now that you know that it's on the desktop or my documents or whatever you want to put it and then you choose the file that you want to upload so go to your desktop select that backup file or part of the backup file choose it and then I always choose HTML because PDF comes out a little funky and it's a huge file but HTML for some reason isn't as large and then submit. Now I've already uh, submitted this so 
it'll upload and then convert. So I'll, I'll let you see it. But I've already done it, and it's in my downloads folder. So here it is, the SMS uh, HTML. And it'll just say HMS HTML1 after it gets done with its status. But after it gets done with that, you then just double click it, and it'll open up your browser for you. I'm already pre opening it so that way uh, it doesn't show all the phone numbers. But as you can see right here, it has all the text messages that I've sent. And uh, you could go through, and as you notice the little handle, there's a lot of text messages. I'm just covering up the phone numbers so that way nobody has all the full numbers. But um, there you go. So that's how you get all the text files from that particular file. Now if you do another backup on a different phone, it's going to generate a new folder within the backup. And so this is one backup and you just go ahead and take note of the time, 346. And then when you do another phone or another backup, you just take note of that as well. Uh, you don't want to alter this file name though and you don't want to alter the files inside it otherwise the backup becomes corrupted so they're all kind of like scales they, they all lean on each other dominoes they all lean on each other I guess so that's how you do your backup and and recovery on uh, on text messages so go ahead and comment like and share as you find fit thanks for your time